Hello and welcome to a short demonstration of how to sew on your battery pack and microcontroller. First, you will need some tools. You will need your fabric, battery pack, microcontroller, needle, conductive thread, scissors, circuit diagram, and a seam ripper if you make mistakes. Place your components on the fabric and use your circuit diagram to help you organize them in the right orientation. First, thread your needle. Use the gray conductive thread. It is thick and coarse, so you will probably want to use a bigger needle. Fold the thread in half and line up the ends. Center the needle on the thread. Because the threads are the wires in your circuit, you will use double thread to sew your wires. A single thread can break more easily. Tie a knot in the ends of your thread. To tie the knot, make a loop, tuck the ends through the loop and pull tight. You may need more than one knot if you are using a larger needle. If so, make another loop, tuck the ends through the loop, and guide the knot to the first one. Put your needle through your fabric where you plan to put your battery pack's first positive terminal. Pull the thread through the fabric up to the knot. The knot should be on the opposite side of the fabric from the battery pack so the tail is not visible on the outside of the toy. Sew over the edge of the positive terminal three times. Keep your stitches close to the hole and pull them tight. Be sure to remember to check the other side of the fabric, the inside of the toy, frequently to make sure that your stitches are smooth and that you don't have any bubbles of thread or knots on the other side. This looks good so far. If you have a hard time putting your needle through the terminal, you can also stitch from the outside of the terminal or outside of the battery pack into the terminal. After you have completed three stitches, you'll stitch across to the other side of the battery pack. Do not sew directly across the battery pack. If you do this when you insert the battery you will cause a short circuit. Do not sew directly across the battery pack. Sew several little stitches above the battery pack in the fabric to connect the first positive terminal to the second. As you sew Make sure to pull your stitches tight, avoid bubbles in the thread, and untangle if necessary. Then sew down the second terminal with three more stitches. Before going on, look at your circuit diagram. Are the positive terminals of the battery pack connected to the positive on the microcontroller? If so, you can sew directly across to where you want the microcontroller and sew down the positive with three more stitches. If the positive terminals of the battery pack are not connected to the positive on the microcontroller, you should tie off. Since my example circuit has the positives connected, I'm going to sew over to where I want the microcontroller and attach it. As I mentioned before, make sure to check both sides of the fabric frequently to make sure that things like this are not happening. Untangle any knots that you accidentally create and pull the thread smooth. Now that I have my needle where I want my microcontroller, I thread it onto the thread using the positive terminal and then I will sew it down with three nice stitches. I'm going to make sure that my battery pack is oriented correctly before I start sewing it down so that the negative is close to the negatives of the battery pack. If it is rotated it will be more difficult to sew later on. Again as I've mentioned pull your stitches tight but don't pull them so tight that the fabric gathers. Keep the fabric smooth as you're sewing. 
Once I've sewn down the positive terminal of the microcontroller with three stitches, I flip my fabric over and I tie off. To tie off, I slide my needle under the last stitch. This creates a loop. Then I put the needle through the loop and pull tight. Then I do it again. I slide my needle under the stitch, creating a loop, and then putting my needle through the loop and pulling tight. Then I need to cut off the end of the thread very close to the knot so I don't have a lot of extra thread hanging on the end. Those ends are one of the biggest causes of shorts later on so we always want to trim off the ends. So that's nice and tidy. I can see how I've connected the end of the positive end of the battery pack to the other one and then to the positive end of the microcontroller. All the stitches are nice and tidy and neat, so I am less likely to have problems later on. Next, I'll look at my circuit diagram and realize that it's a good time to sew on the negative ends of the battery pack. Notice that in my diagram, the battery pack is not directly connected to the microcontroller on the negatives because I'm including a switch. So I will just sew down the negatives of the battery pack and then tie off. I put three stitches in the first terminal, then I sew several little stitches from there across the fabric to the second terminal, and sew the second terminal down with three more stitches. On the back, I can see the positive stitches very clearly and the negative stitches not touching or interacting in any way. I don't have any shorts. At this point, if your circuit diagram indicates that you are connecting the negatives of the battery pack to the negative of the microcontroller, continue sewing directly over to the microcontroller. Otherwise, tie off. Please feel free to ask for any assistance you need, and thanks for watching.